As you know, there was recent news that was published that we found oxygen, breathable oxygen, in the Orion Nebula. If you'll note the picture in front of you, the oxygen molecules that they're showing you look very similar to one of the basic archetypes in sacred geometry. Two circles combining themselves together and overlapping create what's called a vesica pisces. The vesica pisces is a shape that is the intersection of two circles with the same radius, intersecting in such a way that the center of the circles lies on the circumference of the other. The name literally means bladder of a fish in Latin. The shape is also called mandorla. There's mathematical ratios that are also associated to this vesica pisces. One of the numbers in these ratios is 153 and it also appears in the Gospel of John 21 11 as the number of fish <laughs> Jesus caused to be caught in a miraculous catch of fish and the significance has sometimes been attached to this. The Vesica Pisces has been the subject of mystical speculation at several periods of history and is viewed as important in Freemasonry and some forms of the Kabbalah. More recently, numerous New Age authors have interpreted it as a Yonic symbol and claimed that this, as a reference to the female genitals, it is as a traditional interpretation. Combining spirit along with the male and female gender, or the right and left brain, or the balance of the active and passive parts of the mind, along with spirit, we have the Holy Trinity, which is also found in the churches. The church has actually known about this for a long time. They've obviously known about the Holy Trinity. They obviously know about sacred geometry, because sacred geometry is found throughout many different religions. And in fact, the Christian church has been using sacred geometry to show Jesus inside of the uh, Vesica Pisces uh, for centuries. And so what I would also like to show you is that the church has also known about the creation or the oxygen that exists inside the Orion Nebula. Before you right now, what you're looking at is you're looking at a picture of the Orion Nebula. But it's not so clear because they don't actually come out and tell you that. But what you will find is that if you map these gaseous clouds that surround the center of this Orion Nebula, you'll find that these perfectly match the clouds around the Holy Trinity that you see in the Vatican cathedrals. And so as I've shown you this before, now it's even more evident that I've been correct. So I urge you to go out and please take a look at some of the Holy Trinity depictions inside the churches because what I've been saying the whole time has been true. With simple lighting adjustment to the Hubble picture of the Orion Nebula, one can clearly see the following. You can see the conventional picture of Jesus at the bottom, and you can also see the Holy Trinity, in which Jesus' head, or Christ consciousness, is what is being touched by part of the upper left part of the Holy Trinity. And when it is totally formed, you can totally see the eye in the middle of the Holy Trinity. So this is not recent news. This has been something that's been known for a long time. Have a good night. I'll talk to you soon.